night <laughs> dehumidifier is full turn it off take this out the back de -de 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 -de. fun morning routine with ellie although uh it's a little bit loud it has made such a difference because we did have a mold issue in this bedroom when we first moved in but we haven't had it since which is just amazing and i mean it also wasn't cheap it's uh, an investment worth having, I think. I was actually saying to um, Adam's brother's girlfriend how cool it would be to have the concept of leaving like a note or like a review of, you know, basically when you go on a holiday and there's a guest book, like how cool it would be to have that for rented property. So when you, you're moving out of a house and you're an ex-tenant, um, you could leave like notes to the new tenant to say things that you've learned over time and I know landlords wouldn't allow that because they'll be like checking it and seeing what stuff they're saying but it'd be good if you had like secret like conversation going on like I mean it, it doesn't have to be negative stuff um, <laughs> it depends what you're kind of saying a landlord wouldn't mind if you say stuff like oh by the way when you take the bins out it's easier to do it in this system or the cupboard in the kitchen on the left hand side uh, can sometimes come off its hinges if you do this like, I'm talking about really random stuff that you slowly figure out in time um, but the landlord might not like stuff like yeah the bedroom gets mouldy so but the thing is like I wouldn't mind if I get the heads up and get told what to do because otherwise we just had to figure it all out ourselves we, if we moved in and there was a note saying like open the window for 10 minutes every day use a dehumidifier it stops from happening like that would have saved a lot of like ball ache and a lot of like angry tears when uh <laughs> when it was discovered oh my god look at all this washing up vlogmas is about being honest about your daily routine right that's our washing up and i know some people will say oh i don't i don't do washing up when i wake up because we do all our washing up before we go to bed i know i like to be that way too Sometimes it doesn't go that way because we have our dinner and we're like zombies so we just die and go to bed. Go to bed, then die. Oh my god. Ooh. I started filming a house decorating video for Christmas at 1pm. Um, I basically went through all of the stuff I had one by one and then I did time lapses of me putting it up around the house. My washing machine's making weird noises and I'm home alone, I don't like the sound of that. And it's now half five and I've just sat down and finished. What is that noise? We had an incident recently uh, in our kitchen with a freezer. So now whenever there's like loud noises, I get so scared. I hope that's okay, but it's really, really noisy. Um, I'm sweating, <laughs> my pits are sweaty. Very cute, Ellie, very cute. But we're gonna, well, I'm gonna go out now and meet Adam. Uh, he will get into town at six and it's half five now. It's about 20 minute walk into town for me. So I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna go watch Frozen 2 with him, which is really exciting. Um, I was a big fan of the first one. Adam only saw the first one the other day because I showed him it and he was like, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised. So we're gonna be up in town. We haven't had a little date uh, night for a while. Um, so we're just gonna have like some cheap food somewhere. Uh, it's gonna be a really cheap date because it's just our local cinema and it's it's like such, it's like one of those cheap ones. It's not like a high end cinema. Thank God I don't really like supporting those cinemas anyway. <laughs> I think they overcharge you so much so much anyway um although we are having a couple of dates we've got a big date weekend coming up ne uh well i guess we've got one this weekend as well but we're seeing friends too but just me and adam are having a big weekend in different places the following weekend because it's the weekend before i go home so we're gonna have a big christmasy weekend together but this is our first date in a little while um because we've been saving money and stuff so i'm very excited i'll take you along with me so it won't completely be private because my little children you guys are gonna come with us <laughs> And yeah, I'm just so exhausted. But I finished, I wanted to tidy up as well as decorate because I'm gonna film Adam coming through the door and looking at it all for the first time. Like I wanna film his reaction. So I tidied as well. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to get this, this finished. But the minute I finished the last thing, um, it got to the time I should be leaving. So 
timed it perfectly. I can't wait to get outside, to be honest. Nice and nice and cool out there. <sighs> so basically, that was wasted. Um, he's just texted me saying like he stayed. He's just left work like now. He stayed in longer than he was supposed to. I mean, I can't blame him because it's work. He doesn't really want to do it, but. I'm a bit sad now. So he was like, we'll just bring food into cinema. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm hungry as hell. I want like a proper dinner. So <laughs> I guess I'll just make something here. Oh, that's really sad. That's annoyed me. So I mean, at least it, it means I can get that washing up done, right? Mm. <laughs> While I eat my food, I just want to be a little bit real for a second here and be a little bit honest and have a little heart to heart. Before I started Vlogmas this year, um, well, I wasn't going to do Vlogmas this year, actually. Um, I was going to skip it, I was going to leave it, and I was just going to say to myself, don't put the pressure on because I get stressed about it every year. The reason that made me do it was the fact that I moved out this year, as you all know. I've got loads of space to work with. I've got loads of like things I could potentially do now I've moved out. One of the main reasons I wanted to move out was actually because I, I didn't feel like I could be creative in the space that I was in. I felt like I really outgrew, outgrew the space that I was in and I wanted a space to have as more like a studio rather than a living space. I mean, obviously it's nice to live here, but I see my flat as a lot of studio potential really like I, the, one of the main things I wanted to move out for was to work better and, and have more space to do stuff. Doesn't that look so weird how it just stops there? But there is actually like string there, but you can't see it. Distractions. So I wasn't gonna do Vlogmas, but then I thought back to little Ellie and I imagined me telling little Ellie that I didn't do Vlogmas just because I didn't feel Christmassy and festive. Even though I live on my own, I have loads of, I keep saying I live on my own, I don't live on my own, but I work home alone. I've got loads of time and this is my full-time job. Not many people can say that. Sure, it sometimes sucks because I'm on like little money, but it's a freaking job I love at the end of the day and not many people can say that. And people are on the same income as me and they hate their job to pieces. So I imagined me telling little Ellie that, that I didn't do vlogmas and i can just like feel her being like you're crazy like i'm living the dream that little ellie would have wanted to do and that's why i continue doing this and grinding and this is i hate the word grinding but that's why i keep on grinding and that's why i keep on doing this even though some people might say i'm flogging a dead horse like as in my channel is not like massive and i don't really deserve to do this full time but i keep on going because this is what little ellie would have wanted and this is what i want as an adult now of course but this is my dream at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm kind of going off topic. So I decided to do Vlogmas in the end because I was like, this is what I moved out to do. You know what I mean? Like, I might as well just go hard. So I did it. I got a Vlogmas intro sorted. I got my intro sorted when I was still not even sure if I wanted to do Vlogmas to kind of push me up the ass. And then I obviously started, as you guys know, and I just want to say something real quick. YouTube's harsh. YouTube's a hard game. If I'm going to be honest, it's one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do. Just keep and maintain and grow a YouTube channel. It's ridiculously hard, especially now when everyone wants to have a YouTube channel. Back in the day when I started, it was just a thing that nerds did, really. And throughout October and November in particular, I mean, I felt this for a long, long time. I felt this for, for years actually now, but I felt really discouraged in October and November because I just felt like I didn't really have a place for the platform anymore. And that's not me crying for help and asking for your like lovely words because I, I know that you send them anywhere. I don't need to ask for that. You've got, you guys are just so nice. Um, because of that, I was like, no one really wants to, like, what have I got to add to the rest of everyone else? Like, what will my vlogmas bring that other people's won't? Like, there's not really a massive point to me doing it. I felt like, I personally felt like a lot of my content was failing. And the sad thing was, I have actually really enjoyed the content I've been putting out recently. But the more I enjoy the content I put out, like, the worse it does. I feel like sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. But anyway, I just went ahead and did it. Like I do most of the time, I just push. I just push, push, push. Because I keep it in mind what I'm here to do. Why I love it. Why I shouldn't give up. The importance of sticking at your dreams. And I just did it. I'm not here to be preaching. I'm just saying that's what I did. That's what I do. And the response you guys have, have given me is so nice. I know loads of YouTubers where views have gone down and they've quit. I've never done that. My views have been up, down, here, there, everywhere. But whatever. I keep on battling because it's in my blood to be creative. And 
and it's it's the the interaction and the communication you guys have given me as soon as i started vlogmas i didn't realize how many people wanted it i've been receiving loads of tweets i've been receiving loads of stories of you guys like filming your tvs with me on it doing vlogmas and i've been sent loads of messages and like there's so many comments you guys are leaving like Oh, I love your vlogmases. Like I, I watch your vlogmases every year. It's like the support through those which just melts my actual heart. I don't want to sound cringy, but I didn't actually think people cared too much about my vlogmas. And I'm not saying that to be like, eh, give me comments, but I genuinely didn't. I genuinely, genuinely didn't. It was really refreshing and nice. And I know it's weird to say like, oh, I need the validation and I need the, the attention. I don't in a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a very private person person like i i barely see any of adam's family like the amount of times they say to me are you okay like, i haven't seen you for ages and you work from home alone i'm fine i love my own company it's not that i need people's attention but when it comes to creative projects and things that i make and put my hours and effort into of course i want validation of course i want people to let me know that it's good and it, it's worthy of a space here on a very saturated platform mm -hmm. yeah basically i've just really appreciated your support and don't think that a tweet that you send me or a comment that you send me or an Instagram story that you tag me in is ever wasted. I think about that comment all day long. In fact, I think about that comment all month long. Those are the comments that keep me going all year long. It's not wasted. So that's just something I wanted to say that's important because I haven't been feeling too good recently. And what made it worse was the fact that I'm in such a good place. Like I've moved out and I'm, I should be really happy. And with my boyfriend, like we're happy as Larry. I have great family surrounding me. I love my friends so much, but I just felt a little bit, I've been feeling a little bit depressed. And it's not for a reason. Um, the only thing I can kind of boil it down to is maybe this whole situation of like not feeling like I'm worthy of a space here on YouTube. That's the only thing that's sad in my life right now. Um, but it's more like a depression that's kind of come out of nowhere. I don't feel, I've never, I've never deal, dealt with depression in my whole entire life. But all of a sudden I just feel a little bit miserable about the things that I usually love. So that was creeping up on me last month. And this whole vlogmas situation has just really brought me up and brightened everything up for me. And my world feels a little bit more colourful. And that sounds cringe, but it's some honesty and um, I just want to make sure you know about it because it just goes to show that you uh, mean so much and also should never think that your uh, comments and the interaction you give to your favourite YouTubers goes to waste because I mean especially for me it definitely does not so I'm going to finish my dinner now and say I love you so much I'm surprised I didn't start crying then I have nothing else to say <laughs> look at these lovely house decorations you can't really oh look at the moon as well you can't really see. Oh, I love it when houses decorate out the front. Oh, there's a multicolored one there. <laughs> I'm just peeping through people's windows at this point. So he's gonna get there really late. He might even miss the start of the film. So I'm basically just gonna meet him actually inside of the cinema at this point. <laughs> so I'm making my way on my own, which I was going to anyway, but I was gonna meet him in town, but we ain't got time for that now. Wow. Oh my God, there's so many nice houses. What the heck? I'm sure people decorate their houses more around here. Either that or like they show it off more in the windows because I'm sure I haven't seen this many houses decorated just in a short space of time. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and of course i will never not film this when i walk past it because it's literally incredible and i'm sorry if you're gonna see it like 12 times in vlogmas but it's so beautiful look how pretty the little water fountain is next to the cinema i once took a picture there in like summertime but it looks even nicer at this time of year because it's all lit up and then on the other side that's where the river is and you can get a boat. Adam gets a boat that crosses that river every day for work. Adam's scared because I'm holding a camera on a boat. It's not even like, like she's holding it on the very edge. Choo choo, this is our view. <laughs> choo choo, this is our view. <laughs> I don't think ferries go choo choo. Choo choo, yes they do. But yeah. It's super pretty and I think I just walked through a cobweb, but hey ho, it was worth it. <laughs> kind of. Twist 
cringe so much. I can't wait. Good day at work, Adam. I'm filming to show our range of veggie stuff to compare it with people in different countries. I'm wondering whether you've got as many options. Uh, fake sausage rolls, Thai bites, chicken pieces, sausages, different types of sausages, falafels, tofu, burgers, loads of different plant burgers. Ooh, these look nice. Duck. Duck's really good. Uh, tastes literally just like the real thing. Sandwich fillers, so ham slices, tikka masala, cottage pie, paella, garlic mushrooms. Mm. So yeah, I'm just curious to see if this is like normal for you lot as well, wherever you live. It's always bright orange too, so I know exactly when I found it. I'm like, bingo, found corn. <laughs> and people tend to ask me what corn actually is. It looks like it's mostly egg, so it's not vegan. Made with miso protein. Miso protein? Don't know what that is. I've just found some uh, gingerbread spiced Captain Morgan. I don't know how many of you drink this. It's a rum, but they're doing a gingerbread one for Christmas. <gasps> and in slightly less exciting news, I also found Bucks Fizz and it's taking me right back to Christmas morning because that's what me and my family always drink. Cheap and cheerful Bucks Fizz. We just found the uh, either Earth Giants from Frozen 2 or the Dum Dum Gimme Gum Gum from <laughs> <laughs> from Night in the Museum. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> we found a cheese advent calendar, uh, half price. I haven't yet got an advent calendar because we were gonna wait. Okay. We were gonna wait for them to go on offer because we're cheapskates. But have you seen any for you? No, I haven't been to the sweets bit yet. Uh, I was gonna say maybe they've already got rid of them all. Well, and I seen, like, an alcohol one yet. can I show that? She's not gonna see it, is she? No. Imagine if I drop it. Look at this fancy, what does it say? 24 carat um, Prosecco for Adam's Secret Santa. I haven't sorted mine out yet. Rip. There you go. Wow. Oh, I thought we'd tell you a bit more of what's inside. Uh, it does, I think. Just like samples of each one. It's 39 pound from 50 quid. Morning. I said to Adam that I'm not gonna get a cheese advent calendar unless I have some crackers to go with it. <laughs> I'm not just gonna sit there chomping on cheese. Uh, is it weird to have cheese crackers with cheese on? No. Nah. My dull taste of the cheese now. Brute. Smells like the children. Quite nice, but different. Smells a bit like the dentist. <laughs> and these are all of the veggie frozen stuff. So it's even more. Burgers, mints, chicken nuggets. The meat-free popcorn chicken isn't that nice. <laughs> Swedish meatballs, kebab. Wait, what? Is that kebab? Spinach burgers, spinach bites, vegetarian pies, they are really good. And the vegetarian sausage rolls are banging. They're probably my favorite. They've literally got like a roast chicken thing you can have on Christmas day or something. Lasagna, mints, fishless fillets. It's basically endless. Cumberland sausages. Southern fried burgers, which I really, really love. They're my favorite burgers. Gammon steaks, hot dogs, bacon, and crispy chicken nuggets, and southern fried bites. Come on in. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I think you said you hadn't done any decorations. <laughs> Aww. In the stockings. Good job. And then Merry Christmas! It's like my little tacky Christmas tree. <laughs> cool. Like a creepy angel. Did you make that as I literally have no idea where she came from. She was just in the box. <laughs> do you love our grotto? Yeah, I do. I love it. It's class. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> they help. Even under the mistletoe, but hang on. <laughs> We're under the snowballs. What's your favourite bit? I really like this. The mistletoe? Yeah. He said the more you look, the more you find when you when you True. look around the, uh, the goes, decorations, yeah? Your first nativity. <laughs> so much as a mistletoe. Oh, oh, didn't turn these on. God oh. damn. I knew there'd be something I'd forget. Oh, I didn't do the batteries. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. 
later. There we go. They're on. Change the batteries. Little reindeers. This is going to be our new uh, key holder, Adam. The big tree trunk stump. Because we used to have a little birdie one here. But for Christmas we can use this. I'll be the first one. Ta-da! <laughs> Frozen 2, what's your conclusion? I liked it. Um, I wasn't blown away by it. No. I can't imagine many people saying that they absolutely loved it. No, particularly because the first one was such a success. I feel like they've made a really big conscious effort with a lot of the songs to like have double meanings, to like relate to the story, but also relate to mums watching it, to like sing it to their kids when it comes to other topics. I don't know if you noticed that, but like every song had lyrics where it was like about like change or like choosing the right pathway in life and they tried to make it relatable for mums um, because of the success from the first. I wondered whether they wanted that again. So they tried to aim it for adults to like encourage their kids to enjoy it more. Do you know, I can't explain what I mean. Cause I think so many like adults, so many parents had a, such big respect for Frozen after it came out because of how much their kids enjoyed it and obviously they they watched their kids looking up to these princesses and it's like a big deal to them. It felt like a different kind of genre of film for some reason. Obviously it still kept the kind of like classic Disney sort of style and like storyline and stuff but there was an element of like something else in there and I can't quite work out what it, <laughs> what it was. But I really liked Olaf, he was still my favourite. He was my favourite in the first one. He was the reason why I got into the first one. Uh, I watched the first one when I didn't really expect it to be any good and I fell in love literally because of Olaf. So I'm glad he was in it for one thing and I'm glad he had a bigger part as well. And I didn't think like, sometimes when you like a character in the first film, they know that it went so well so they bring them into the second film and then they kind of ruin him because he's not as funny. But they didn't do that. Like, I think he was just as funny. And um, he had this exact same kind of humour, so I loved that. It was an interesting direction. Like, I like how they included some stuff from the... F well, they included most stuff from the first film. I won't give any spoilers, by the way. I probably should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> they weren't exactly Easter eggs, but there were little nods at stuff that you heard and saw in the first film which I really liked so like people in it that you saw only in paintings and obviously the storyline is based so much on the first one so a lot of stuff that happened in the first film that you kind of just took it as happening for no reason was actually down to a reason so I'm wondering whether they intended to make the second Frozen or they just ju they just pulled a storyline out of nowhere from the first film I don't know I'm wondering whether they had this plan to to do the the second part in the beginning. I liked how when uh, at one point Elsa sees herself singing Let It Go and she kind of like cringes at it and she goes ugh. I thought that was kind of funny because like even that's probably a nod at parents. Like I feel for some reason the second one feels more like grown up and for parents. I don't know why it just gave me that vibe. Some of the jokes as well were more like adult but it wasn't an adult film obviously. Anyway, that's my my take. Um, I basically just wanted to see it because it may it it's festive sort of. <laughs> just I wanted to get in the spirit a little bit because I missed um, Let It Snow when it was in the cinema. I haven't heard much hype, but then again, I haven't heard much hype of Frozen Two. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go to bed now. Any other updates, Adam? Oh, yes, we've heard from the landlord that we are getting the freezer delivered next week, delivered and installed. So excited. I mean, that's still like a whole week away from today, but luckily we're chill people and we don't care because we're the best tenants ever. <laughs> um, so that's good. I mean, she's the best landlord ever. Like the fact she got it sorted so quick, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm really tired, which is good because I need to fall asleep as soon as I go into bed, which I rarely do. Um, because tomorrow I've got a really, really festive day with a couple of girlfriends. We're going to Newcastle Christmas Market um, to drink some uh, hot chocolates or, I don't know, mulled wine or eat some Yorkshire pudding wraps. So yeah, we only briefly saw the Newcastle market, me and Adam last time. So it'd be good to kind of have a good old proper rummage around. And I've just hit publish on my Vlogmas video. This is a try on haul, like Christmas party try on haul. I've got a few videos here and there that I'm making whilst filming Vlogmas to upload on days where I haven't got time to sit and edit. So today, because I was busy, I didn't have the time well I could have maybe had the time but I think I would have been rushed and stressed 
So I've got kind of like security videos, which I mean, they're better videos than vlogs in my opinion, because I actually put effort into them. <laughs> so that's that's going up on days where I kind of don't have as much time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. I've been most excited to post this. I love how it's just advert after advert. I'm so sorry. I've been more excited about posting this than most other things, to be honest. Little shout out to Bethany here. Literally my favorite videos of the year. <laughs> sorry, I mocked your voice. <laughs> I look five years old. Goo goo gaga. Good night, chaps. I'm going to Bedfordshire now. Have a lovely evening, day, week, month, year, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to join me on social media such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and my Patreon. And I will see you for more shenanigans soon. Say good night, Adum. Good night. I still got my contour on. Probably do, to be fair. <laughs>